of the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Our Heavenly Father tells us that if we sow his word, it'll not return unto him void. If we sow the seed, he'll give the increase. And I think we often lose sight of the fact that the one who sows may not necessarily do the reaping. Sometimes the seed has been sown months and years before, and then it suddenly springs to life and grows on to maturity. Yes, God works out his own plans according to his purpose, and it's our job to be in the center of his will and make sure that we faithfully sow the seeds of his work. Well, let's get into our story today. The Whispering Cave. Fox, come on in. <laughs> Welcome, Running Fox. Uh, sit here beside the desk. Hello. Hello, Red Brother. Long time now since you come see us. Uh, for many moon, Running Fox stay on reservation. My father's sick now, long time. Ah, I'm sorry to hear Chief White Feather is sick. Uh, so am I, Running Fox. Uh, my father old like mountain now. His life goes down like sun at end of day. Oh, that's too bad. He's a great man, full of wisdom and knowledge. Why you come see us? Uh, this why. Say, that looks like a tract. It is a tract. Uh, what has this got to do with your father, Running Fox? Many season now, white missionary come to village and give all Indian this paper. I read paper many times. Soon I understand. I pray to Jesus, and Jesus save Running Fox. Oh, that's wonderful. I'll say. Uh, Running Fox no longer believe about Indian religion. I worship Jesus and have Jesus in my heart many moons now. Now Running Fox want Father to know Jesus too. You haven't talked to your father about the Lord yet, young feller? No. It is custom of tribe that son not speak to father about great spirit or any Indian religion. It show great dishonor. How come? Well, a great chief is supposed to have all wisdom. He great leader. To tell him his soul is not saved would be insult. Running fox is to be chief when old one dies. The son should not seem to know more than father, so he not speak of things that are great. Afraid father thinks son not honor him. Uh, what running fox is trying to get across is the fact that he himself is in a ticklish spot. If he talks to Chief White Feather about the Lord, he'd give the impression that he knows more than his father does and thereby offend him and this would be disastrous in the fact that his father would in all probability refuse to discuss the matter at all with anyone and thereby not hear the gospel of salvation. Is that right, Running Fox? Uh, you have spoken the thoughts of my heart, Bill. And then you come to us for help. Yes. Running Fox wants you to talk to my father about Jesus. You, Bill. You, Grey Wolf. You talk to my father. Yes, we'll be glad to talk to him. You think we'll make it in time, Running Fox? I think so. My people not begin death dance when I leave. What's the death dance? My people practice old customs even now after long time on reservation. Death dance start when end of life is near. After death dance, then my father is carried to Whispering Cave. I heard about that, young fella. That's a sacred cave in your holy place. What do you mean by holy place? The peace of mountain that's kept for the great spirit. Uh, you right. 
Whispering Cave is place where my father talk to Great Spirit and wait for Great Spirit to take my father's spirit. If whispering sounds come from cave, then my father has pleased Great Spirit. If no sounds heard, then my father not please Spirit and die unhappy. Hey, that's interesting. White man forced Indian onto reservation, but he not able to take old ways and customs from red man. Many tribes still practice ways of their fathers and their fathers' fathers. I realize that you're in a ticklish spot, Running Fox, but isn't there anything you can do to stall for time? We'll need time to talk to your father. I understand. It is not possible, but I will try. I am not chief yet. I am son of great chief, but I have no power. It is custom of my people that son of great chief sit with his father and listen to his wisdom and learn his wise ways. I am not to speak. I see. Well, do what you can and we'll do our best. I pray to Jesus. Ask for help. There's the village ahead. Stop. Oh, 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 Why are we stopping here? Horse and rider come. Oh, you're right, Running Fox. I hit your brother. Yes, it is Arrowhand. Why do you call him Arrowhand? Uh, he has great skill with arrow. Other Indian use rifle to hunt. Arrowhand use bow and arrow. I never see him miss. Wow. He's riding like there's a jet propelled grizzly behind him. My brother, almost you, you come too late. It is time. Even now our people make ready for death dance. Or you go to white man for help. Are you not Indian? I go to white man to ask him to speak to great chief about Jesus. You leave sight of great chief when life comes to end. You seek counsel of white man, not counsel of your father. What can Jesus do? Great spirit cannot, my brother. Jesus can give your father eternal life. Who is this one? I am Grey Wolf, son of Black Wolf. Huh. You have left lodge of your father, great Dakota chief. My father's lodge is always open to me. I tell you that this Jesus your brother speaks of has power of eternal life. But now you waste time in talk when we should ride. Ah, uh, Grey Wolf speaks with wisdom, Arrowhand. Let us ride. Even now the death dance begins. You come, my son. Yes, my father. I bring friends to hold counsel with you. Who oh, is? This one is Ranger Chief Bill Jefferson, and this one is Grey Wolf, son of Black Wolf. What counsel they bring? I ask them to speak to Chief White Feather about Jesus. Will you listen? Do not hear words of these men, my father. They destroy great spirit of our people. Silence, Arohan, my son. You young in years, running fox, my son, I listen to Ranger Chief and Grey Wolf. You're old and full of years, Chief White Feather. You're a great chief among your people, and you have great wisdom and understanding. Listen to my words. I hear. This Jesus, your son, Running Fox speaks of, has the power to give you eternal life if you will believe on him. Jesus, greater than great spirit in whispering cave? Yes, Jesus is the son of God. He made all the things that grow and made the mountains and the rivers and the animals of the forest and the fish in the river. He also made the sky and the sun and the moon. Jesus is the son of God. Mm. Jesus, make life and take it away? Yes. Jesus also can save your soul, Chief Whitefeather. What is soul? 
When Indian die, his body only die. His body dry up like dead grass on prairie and blow away. When body die, Indian soul leave body. Soul is what lives in Indian body. If Indian listen to God, soul live forever. When grain of corn is planted into ground, it, it seems to be dead. Is that not so? It's so, Grey Wolf. Then, rain, water, seed. And sun, warm ground. And seed of corn spring to life. You speak truth. Seed of corn like Indian body. It put in ground. Soon it no more. New life from seed of corn... Like Indian soul, it live on, is not so. Ah, you have great wisdom, Chief White Feather. All people come now. Take my father to Whispering Cave. Can't they wait a while longer? There is nothing we can do now, Bill. It is the custom of my people, and we must honor it. Yes, 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 of course. Step back, Henry. There they go. And just when Chief Whitefeather was getting really interested in hearing about the Lord. Yep. I believe the Holy Spirit was dealing with him all right because he seemed to understand everything pretty quick. A running fox... How long will it take them to get to Whispering Cave? Uh, two hours. Is there another way we can get there so we'll arrive ahead of time? Yes. Yes, come, we go. How much farther is it? Only short way. Did we beat them? Yes, they come slowly. Uh, we stop pretty soon now. What for? I don't see that Whispering Cave yet. It's custom that white men do not walk on sacred ground, old hammer. Only Indian allowed to enter. Ah, uh, you're right. I probably forgot about that. Uh, yes, we better go up. It's not time yet. Soon we stop. How can Bill help your father, Running Fox, if he can't go near the Whispering Cave? I do not know. It is the custom of my people. I do not want to make my people angry. I go with Running Fox and talk to Chief White Feather. Sure, why not? They can't keep you out, Grey Wolf. Running Fox, I'm going to talk with a straight tongue of what's in my heart. You speak. Although you're a Christian and you want your father to accept Jesus Christ, you fail to see one important part of the Christian life. Now, will you hear me, please? For I want to help you. I will listen more. You're torn between two very strong desires right now. The first one is the loyalty to your people and your customs and traditions. The other is your love for your father and the fact that you want to see him accept Jesus as you did and have eternal life. Uh, you speak with wisdom, my friend. Now, there really isn't any way we can help with your problem. Neither Grey Wolf nor I can be as effective and as helpful as you can. You're the son of Chief White Feather. You will be the next chief upon your father's death. You, Running Fox, can solve your own problem. Tell me how. At just the right time, you will have to go before your people and stand and speak as a chief. That I cannot do. I will anger my father and my people. I cannot speak as great chief... Until my father dies. Don't you want your father to accept Jesus Christ as Savior? Yes, very much. Well, do you think that I, as a white man, or even Grey Wolf, as an Indian, can influence your people and your father as much as you can? Your tongue talks straight as arrow. I begin to understand. I do not know what to do. You listen to Bill, Red Brother. He spake great truth. That you know. You find you're a stronger Christian after you make stand for Jesus. Also, if you do not, you will not get another chance to talk about Christ to your father. You speak as true friend, Grey Wolf. I know you are right. I know Bill is right. There is much heaviness in my heart. 
I will go apart from you to High Ridge and think on your counsel. Do you think he'll do it, young feller? I don't know, old-timer. One minute I think yes, and then right after that I'm not so sure. What's the real reason why he won't do it, Bill? A life of training, pal. The Indians don't play games with their children. From a very young age on, they're taught to honor their father and mother. Their father is the head of the house. If their father is a chief or the great chief makes things that much worse. But won't his desire for his father to hear about salvation overcome all this? That, my young friend, is where the battleground is. Right now, he's fighting a very rugged mental and emotional battle. I think the best way to help him is to pray for him all through this, no matter what way he decides. He's going to need the Lord's strength to do it. Fox, Arrowhand. He with Ranger Chief and Gray Wolf. They go to Whispering Cave. You have troubled mind, Arrowhand. Yes, my father. I doubt wisdom of brother. I listen to Ranger Chief and Gray Wolf. They speak with straight tongue. I read peace paper that... Tell about Jesus. In my old years, I think on this and find it wisdom. You wish to speak, Arrowhand? Yes, my father. Does your great wisdom see Jesus as new God for Indian? No, my son. They for white man. Great spirit is Indian God. You have spoken, great chief. I have listened. My ears are happy with what they hear. It is religion of our people that we go to a whispering cave. My father, running fox, turned back on this religion. He turned his back on custom of years. He not listened to your counsel of long years when he was young. Remove trouble from your heart, Arrowhand. I, Chief White Feather, teach my sons many things. I teach them good things. I teach what's strong, and Running Fox remember these things. He not turn back upon his people. He not turn face from the religion. I have spoken. There's the procession coming from around the bend in the trail. Yes, and here comes Arrowhand after his brother. Yeah. I wonder what's going to happen. I come for running fox, that he take place at father's side when great chief is carried into Whispering Cave to meet great spirit. Our running fox is over there on the top of the ridge. He's been there for some time, thinking. Yeah, I think there's going to be some sharp words between those two. Yeah, that's for sure. You don't think they'll fight, do you, Bill? Who can tell, Henry? up to Running Fox. How do you mean? If Running Fox stands strong and shows great courage, Arrowhand will respect him even though he might not agree with his brother. But if Arrowhand detects any wavering or weakness in his brother, I'm afraid Running Fox's goose will be cooked to a turn. Not right. It's time for Running Fox to act like great chief. Turn back on your people, my brother. 
You take white man's Jesus, turn away from great spirit. You speak with tongue of snake. One side is truth, other side is not truth. I do not turn my back on my people. I find great truth for my people. Truth is Jesus can give them eternal life. Great spirit cannot. You talk with weak mind. I talk as your chief. I have spoken, and it will be so. You are not chief yet, running fox. You argue about minutes, my brother. I am your chief, and the chief of my people. Let us go now to our father. No, you will not be chief. Who are you to say, Arrowhand? I am Arrowhand, warrior of great strength. You dare to threaten your chief? You are not my chief. I will be chief. I am strong. Yes, you have strong arm, but it is not stronger than mind. I have more years than you. I have learned more than you. You speak from young heart. It is true, but stubborn. You have hot blood of young warrior, but you do not have wisdom to see what is good for your people. Arrowhand challenge you. Fight your brother. I fight for good of my people. You turn your back on teaching of our father. You are afraid. Is a grizzly bear afraid of prairie dog? This is not a fight of muscle. You fight Jesus. You read paper from missionary. You fight Jesus. To fight him is to fight the wind. Your strength will leave your body as you fight... The wind will knock you down, and yet you cannot knock it down. You fight running, Fox? No, my brother. I will not fight you because I am your chief and because Jesus is my strength. I have spoken. I thought sure there was going to be a scrap. Did you see Arrowhand muscle up to Running Fox? I sure did. Running Fox acted like a chief. Arrowhand respected his strength. Did you notice how straight and unflinching Running Fox stood before his brother? Never moved a muscle. Then majestically turned his back on him and walked off to the cave. That sign of great chief. Good self-control and great courage. Look, Running Fox and Arrowhand... At sight of father. It looks like they're going to carry White Feather into the cave together. And I hope not. Running Fox passed the first test fine. Now we'll see if he'll stand up to his people and his father like he did his brother. Wait till the medicine man stops. Chief White Feather, go now. Listen for words of great spirit. My people, listen to my words. I speak as your chief. You dare speak where I live, my son? Yes, my father. I speak from my heart. Long enough have I listened to my mind. You, my father, taught us in your council to stand like men of courage. There is little time. Now I will speak in honor to you, my father. Speak, running fox. We listen to words from your heart. No, great one. Do not listen to my brother. He is weak in mind. I am your chief. You will listen. I talk of great truth that my father must hear, and you must hear. Arrow and... Listen to his words. I will not, great one. You turn back on me, Arrowhand. No, my father. I will listen, but 
I'm not here. You will remember what you listen, and in years to come you will hear what is written on your mind from my words. I speak of Jesus. He will write my words on your heart. Listen, my father and my people. Running Fox believe in Jesus long time now. Now it is time to tell you that Jesus has greater power than Indians' great spirit. Jesus die on cross to save all men from death of sin. Running Fox believe this and pray to Jesus to clean sin out of the heart of Running Fox. Jesus do this thing. Now I have peace in heart and Jesus give to me eternal life. No more does running fox believe in whispering cave. It talks from sound of wind through rock. If no wind, no whisper. If much wind, then cave talk with loud voice. This is not power of Jesus. Jesus talk to heart and not from hole in stone in cave. I am your chief. I do not command you to believe in Jesus. I do not command you to pray to him and ask for a heart clean of sin. I but ask you to believe in Jesus. Then you have eternal life and worship living God, not cave of stone and sound of wind. I have spoken. Carry great one into cave, my people. Oh, no! How oh, it shall not be done. Ask our father, my brothers. Does he wish to go into whispering cave? What is your answer, great chief? Running Fox has spoken, Arrowhand. Listen to words of his heart. He have great love for his people. Or he not be strong to speak while I live. These my last words. Worship Jesus. Turn back from cave and wind. It not give you eternal life. My sons, this old one... Ask Jesus to give him clean heart. I, I believe he is son of God. <laughs> Chief White Feather is dead. Carry him back. To village. Running Fox has spoken. He is my chief. The word of God was sown by one missionary. It was sown in the heart of Running Fox. Gray Wolf, Stumpy, Henry, and I saw the seed grow into a full plant and blossom out of the heart of Running Fox. We saw the harvest and the victory. See you next week for more adventure with... Ranger! <laughs>